welcome to Mindful Monday. My name is Erin and I'm honored to be your guide today for our yoga practice. Today I was hoping we could focus on our hip area. I've heard from a lot of friends and family from sitting a lot in their homes or in their jobs that they have a lot of hip pain. They're actually having trouble walking. So I'd like to work specifically on the sciatica nerve. So we'll do a lot of hip openers and stretching out of our hips. The props you'll need for our practice today, possibly a block, a yoga strap, or a scarf, and if you'd like, also a blanket that you can fold at least twice. So let's just settle in. Coming to a comfortable seat, legs crossed out in front of you or long in front or on your knees here if that's comfortable. Just begin to arrive within, whatever that means for you, either closing your eyes or gazing at the space between your brow or on the earth. Softly arrive within, noticing your natural breath. Yoga is about connecting your movements on your mat with your breath. It's a way for you to become more mindful and present in the here and the now. And even if your mind floats away, see if you can practice a form of loving kindness towards yourself, where there is no judgment, just a breath to come back to your focus inside. As you're ready with your breath, let's begin by practicing something called ocean breath or ujjayi breath. It's where you not necessarily constrain your throat muscles, you just make them <clears throat> a little tighter. On your inhale, you'll say to yourself, ooh, and on your exhale through your nose, you'll say, ah. So you'll begin to make a sound in the back of your throat, a very light, soft, sound. Let's try that together. Inhaling in Ujjayi breath. Exhaling in Ujjayi breath. Now practicing Ujjayi on your own just with your inhalations and exhalations. No need to strain yourself, your breath here. Ujjayi breath. Wave breath helps us arrive in ourselves even more fully because we can really hear our breath. And if we were practicing all together in a classroom, a community setting, we'd hear others ujjayi breath and we'd feel part of a greater whole, greater universe. Some believe it is only great power that can hold evil in check. But that is not what I have found. I have found that it is the small everyday deeds of ordinary folk that keep the darkness at bay. Small acts of love and kindness, Gandalf. See if here in your Ujjayi breath, in your mind, you can begin to calm yourself, your mind thoughts fading away and just focusing on your breath. Maybe it's here you bring to your heart space some form of loving kindness first towards yourself. May you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with a sense of ease and peace. And as we practice, I'll reflect back to this loving kindness that Gandalf mentions. It's also a Buddhist meta meditation. Now coming to your back, when you're ready, no need to hurry. Your knees will be bent up towards the sky, feet firmly on the earth. We're gonna come into something called constructive rest. So you'll be, come onto your back. And just begin to get settled here in this constructive rest. 
Maybe bringing your knees from side to side, relieving any tension you're holding on to in your lower back. For it is your lower back and your core that if you start to have hip pain, that's where it's, it originates from. So let's just relieve the tension. Bringing our natural breath if you're holding on to any tension in that lower back area. Knees will come from side to side. And if you find some tension there in your back, in your hips, focusing your awareness now in that tension. And possibly imagining yourself as a sponge. So as you wring your sponge out on your inhale, see if you can take any positivity or that tension that you're feeling, wringing it out and on your exhale, allow that tension to be free. So focusing your breath, your breath awareness on your lower back, your hips, outer, inner, Letting go here in constructive rest. Maybe you're holding on to your Ujjayi breath where you hear and feel the sound of your own breath. And taking that loving kindness thought, bring to mind right here on your back in constructive rest, someone that you love, and hold dear in your heart. Someone that you have some gratitude towards. And send those same statements out to them. May you be happy. May you be healthy. And may you live with a sense of ease and peace. And you can stay here in this constructive rest, not making any yoga movements here at all for as long as you need. We'll begin to, once you're ready, just make small movements with our pelvic area. So we'll begin to just um, circle, kind of like we're doing cat-cow, but not in tabletop. We'll begin to bring our hips just a bit up towards the sky and on our exhale bring your hips fully into the earth you'll feel a small rounding as if you could put your hand through your lower back area it'll make a small cave-like section inhale flattening your lower back to the earth bringing your hips up to sky exhale sink those hip bones those hip points into the earth and just practice this pelvic tilt. It's very small, minute movement, but it really works your lower back core area, getting you ready to really do some hip stretches together. When you're ready, you can still that movement and bring your right knee in towards your chest. You could extend your left leg long. If you're not feeling that today, please just keep your left leg bent, feet a foot on the floor, and bring your right knee towards your chest and really give yourself a strong hug, pulling as much as you can into your chest. But remembering no need to um, cause any pain here. Just keep this light and easy. As you're ready, begin to just move your right leg from left to right. Small, slight movements like that pelvic tilt. Now bringing your right knee towards your right underarm area, your right shoulder area. Feel the opening on the outside of your hip. Maybe making your left leg, if it's long, very firm and stable, 
flexing into your foot or keeping your left knee bent, foot on the earth. Bringing your right knee towards your chest. See if you can take your right hand on the inside, your right arm on the inside of your right leg and grab on to the outside of your right foot, coming into half happy baby. And begin to play as if we were all babies, toddlers on our back, on the floor. We have some playful movement here. Maybe going left to right, If you're really getting into this movement, you can also opt to grab onto the toe and extend your right leg out to the side in any amount. You can keep your right knee bent or lengthen it. It's really up to you. Just taking care of yourself here. Bringing your knee back in towards your chest. Extending right leg long and bring your left knee bent up towards sky, foot flat on the earth, and bring your left knee towards your chest now. Your right leg can be long extended with foot flexed or bent and foot firmly on the earth. You decide what's good for you and your body for this moment in time. That's a form of mindfulness of presence, taking care of yourself, living with ease, the comfort and ease for your own self, your own being. Maybe moving your left leg side to side. Now bringing your left knee to your left underarm area. Feel a deep opening on the outside of your left hip. When you're ready, take your left arm inside of your left leg and see if you can grab onto the outside of your left foot with your left hand. If that's inaccessible to you, just grab on where you can. It could be even on your calf. Half happy baby. Finding playful movement if you choose from left to right. When you're ready and if you would like, you can grab onto your big toe, extend your left leg long or bent, just out to the side, really feeling some nice movement here. Waking up your hips. Bring your knee into your chest. Now bring your other knee up so both knees are to your chest. We're gonna practice full happy baby right here and now. So bring your arms to the inside of your knees if you can and grab on to your legs, I'm sorry, your feet. Rocking from side to side, finding some happiness, some playfulness, some joy. Now, Let's bring to mind here when we're practicing happiness, joyfulness, someone that maybe you have issues with. Someone that doesn't please you fully. Someone you may argue with. Bring them to your mind right here and now in Happy Baby. Maybe send some intention, some loving kindness out to them. May you be happy. May you be healthy, and may you live with a sense of ease and peace. If you'd like to grab onto both toes, extending your legs out to the sides in any way, keeping knees bent, you can do that as well. Happy baby. Maybe one leg at a time. Kind of like you're pulling a bow and arrow.
Coming back to center and stillness, bringing knees into chest. Let's drop our left foot to the earth. Bring your right leg up to sky. Foot is flexed and keeping your right foot flexed. Bend into right knee and place your right ankle right by your left knee. Keeping that foot flexed to protect your right knee. If you'd like to bring your hand through that opening, you can do so, or you can just bring your um, left knee towards your chest, feeling that stretch along the right side of your hip. Lacing your hand through if you would like, coming in to thread the needle. You may find that your right elbow goes to your right hip and maybe you press gently onto your right thigh. Taking Ujjayi breath here. Inhaling, exhaling. Bringing your left foot to the earth. Let's switch that out. Extending your right leg long up to sky, bend into right knee, press your right foot to the earth, extending left leg long, foot is flexed, bend into left knee, and then just uh, cross your left ankle over top of your right thigh. Bringing your right knee to chest, feeling that awesome stretch along the left side of your hip. You may choose to thread your fingers, your hands through that opening you've created in the figure four. Remembering to inhale, filling belly up. Exhale, bringing that knee a little closer towards your heart space. Maybe it's here you remember what your loving kindness is to yourself. Maybe you love how you relate to people. Maybe you love how you have a sensation of solitude. Find some form of loving kindness to yourself right here. Allowing your right foot to drop to the earth along with your left foot and let's roll over to one side, coming up when you're ready, being gentle, gentle and slow here, coming up onto hands and knees. Feeling the tops of your feet flat on the earth. Let's begin to make that pelvic tilt a little bit more, a, a little more. So let's um, practice cat-cow. Inhaling to look up. Exhale to round spine, chin towards chest. Inhale, looking up. Exhale to round. Inhale, looking up. Exhale to round. And as you're ready here, flattening back. Extending our right leg long behind us. Bringing your belly up and in towards your spine. Let's inhale our right leg. If you feel comfortable with that, up to hip height. Exhale your left arm long in front of you. Just breathe here. Enjoying your breath your awareness of this present moment. Exhale it back down to the earth. Let's extend our left leg long behind us. Inhale your left leg up to hip height if you choose, keeping foot flex behind you. Exhale your right arm long out in front of you. Breathing here. Checking in to your navel. Exhale it back down. Separating your knees, mat width apart. Bring your hips to your heels. 
extending your arms out long in front of you and dropping your head towards the earth in any way you can. And if that's not accessible to you, you can always build a prop by bending into your forearms, place one forearm on top of the other, and allow your head just to rest in ease here. Child's pose. Maybe here, rocking your forehead from side to side. Remembering that loving kindness, that gentleness towards yourself. No need for judgment here at all. Raising yourself back up into tabletop, curling toes under, inhale to bring your hips up to sky, dropping head in between your arms here. Downward facing dog. You may choose to bend into one knee at a time, walking your dog out. See if you can feel an X pattern from your opposite hand to your opposite foot. Finding stillness in downward facing dog when you're ready. Just breathe here. Maybe practicing ujjayi breath, inhaling, hearing a sound in the deepness of your throat, exhaling from your throat. Enjoying the awareness of breath here in down dog. Bending into your knees. Stepping up to meet your hands, allow your torso to be folded over your extended legs, dropping your head to the earth. Standing forward fold. If you had any tension at your lower back area, see if you can allow that to melt and dissipate away. On your next inhalation, begin to slowly round up one vertebra at a time, keeping your shoulders up to your ears. Now, on your exhale, drop those shoulders away from ears. Feel your heart space floated out to the horizon. Finding your belly, where is it in space? Bring that belly up towards your spine and in. Feel strong in mountain, Tadasana. Standing at the top of your mat, step your right foot back four to five feet behind you. And make your right foot parallel to the back of your mat. Point your toes towards the top of your mat. Your torso will be faced out to the side of your mat. Inhale your arms to a T, and then exhale to bend into your left knee. Taking your gaze over your left fingertips here. Warrior two, feel the strength of Tadasana in your warrior two. Possibly imagining sending out that loving kindness beyond your left fingertips to someone or something that needs it. Inhale to lengthen your left knee and see if you can push your left fingertips to the back of your, I'm sorry, to the top of your mat towards the wall space. And then exhale to drop your left hand anywhere. It can be up to your thigh, your calf, your ankle or floor. Taking that navel in towards your spine. 
you can choose to extend your right arm up towards the sky or leave it at your hip. Your gaze can be out in front of you or up to the sky. Triangle pose, Trikonasana. Inhale, pressing into feet, raising yourself up. Let's flip our feet so our back foot, our left foot will be parallel to the top of our mat now. And then our right foot will go towards the back of our mat. Inhale, arms to a T. Exhale to bend into your right knee. Taking your gaze over your right fingertips. Beautiful warrior two. Breathing here. In with the loving kindness. Out with the loving kindness. Lengthening your right knee. See if you can step in. If you widen your stance any in warrior two, step in with your left foot, leaving your right leg long. Begin to push your right fingertips to the back wall. Exhale yourself down. Breathing in trikonasana. Why not be happy here? Why not have a sense of ease with your breath and your body? When you build on your yoga mat a sense of ease, happiness, joy, peace, it will definitely emit out of you into your regular life off the four corners of your mat. On your next inhalation, raise yourself up, drop your hands to your sides, and step your feet in towards one another. So, you choose if you want your feet hip width apart or closer. We're going to begin to bend our knees and bring our hips towards the back of our mat here. So on your inhale, raise your hands up to the sky. Exhale to bend into knees and into hips. Coming into chair pose. Tadasana, mountain pose here. I'd like to practice a balancing posture with you today. And you might choose to now come to a wall in your home or to a tree if you're outside. I'll stay here because you might not be able to see me if I walk away. So you're going to bend your left knee. Cross your left leg over your right here. This is a beautiful figure four, but if you'd like to deepen this posture, you can move your leg up in any amount into that figure four that we created when we were on our backs. And just breathe here, finding your balance on your own two feet. If you choose, bring your arms out to a T Bringing hands together if you separated them at your heart space and step your left leg out to the front and drop it down to meet right. Let's practice that on our other side, bending into our right knee, stepping over with your right leg on top of your left. This is beautiful. Figure four pose. You may choose to deepen the posture, raising your right leg up on top of your left. Finding your breath. Where is that loving kindness towards yourself? No sensation of judgment here of what you cannot or should be doing. 
bring arms out if you choose to a T. This time raising palms up to the sky. Hands together at your heart space. Dropping right foot out to the front of your mat and drop it down to meet your left. Now shake that out some. We're going to drop it down to our mat now. I know some of you don't prefer to practice Malasana Yogi Squat, so let's just practice a couple versions, some modifications. So inhale your hands up towards the sky. Exhale to bend into your hips, bend your knees, and place your hands on your thighs. Coming into catcher's pose, you can put your forearms and go lower onto your thighs. And if you'd like to practice full yogi squat malasana, bring it down, bring your hips down to the ground, separating your knees further, and place your back of your arms, your biceps, on the insides of your thighs. Just chill here, taking in breath, loving kindness to yourself. Let's bring to mind here in our heart space someone who you have no feelings towards. Could be a grocery clerk, it could be your mechanic, it could be someone that you just uh, don't know too well and really have no feelings toward. Let's bring them out some loving kindness. May you be happy. May you be healthy. And may you live with a sense of ease and peace. Dropping your hands as you're ready to the earth. Dropping your bum to the earth and just come into a comfortable seat. I think here, let's just get into a couple poses because I'm running out of time with you as a usual. Let's extend our legs long. And this is where you may choose to have a blanket right underneath your sits bones. See if your feet can remain flexed here in this pose. This is Dandasana right here. Bringing your hands alongside your hips. You can also use your blocks alongside your hips and press very firmly into those blocks or the earth. You'll find your way of ease and comfort in Dandasana. Making your legs very active here from the flex of your foot all the way up to your hip crease. And you'll see if you make your entire leg active how the outside of your hip really has to work, has to stretch. Where is your navel? Bring it up and in towards your spine. Maybe bringing your chin closer towards your heart space. Creating that energy lock of the bandhas from your pelvic area to your throat. Knowing that deep inside we have a great deal of energy. And knowing that if we keep it inside us and not just expel it anywhere to anything, we can do great things. But it's first about taking care of you. Raising your chin up, bending into your left knee, opening your left knee to your side. Here, if you are feeling like it's just too much to have your knee down to the earth, it's not meeting the earth, Please bring um, a put stack of books or a block or a blanket right here. This is Janu Sirsasana. Let's extend our arms up to sky. Exhale to fold over your right leg. Inhale lengthening. Exhale fold.
inhale to come back up extending your left leg long in front of you bend into your right knee open it as if it were a book out to your side and remember you can place a block stack of books or blanket underneath your right knee inhale your arms up towards the sky exhale to fold over your left leg grabbing on wherever is comfortable sense of ease remember that always I absolutely love this posture. I feel that it's so freeing to do, to practice Janusir Sasana. Inhale yourself back up. And let's bring our feet in towards one another. This is where if you do have a strap or a um, uh, scarf, You'll need that. If it's a strap, you'll connect it. And we've practiced this before. This is butterfly pose, but I want to have us go to our back. So let me just turn so I can show you. And maybe you might choose to just stay in, in Sutta Buddha Konasana, which is um, bound angle pose where you're going to be on your back. You may choose to practice that in Shavasana. So you'll bring your scarf around your body, have it so that it's at your sacrum area, the back of it, beside your lower back. And then come down onto your back, bring your feet together, the bottoms of your feet together, and see if you can bring your strap, your scarf around your feet. Once you feel set up, drop your legs, your feet to the earth and really feel the beauty, the freedom in this um, bound angle pose, Sukta Bodha Konasana, with the strap. Allow everything to go now. Your limbs to feel heavy. Just breathe here. Maybe it's here you bring to mind all beings everywhere. May all beings everywhere be happy and be free. May all beings everywhere be healthy. May all beings everywhere live with a sense of ease and with peace. We're going to move into our final posture, relaxation, shavasana. If you'd like to take your legs out of the strap and bring them long out in front of you, you can do that. Or you can rest in Sukta Bodho Konasana. It's up to you. Lengthening legs long if that's what you chose. Arms out to the side, taking up a great amount of space here. Inhale deeply through your nose. Open your mouth. Exhale everything away. Inhale again. Exhale it away. Relax here. On your mat. Back on the earth. Back of head on earth. Backs of arms. Legs. Feet. Feel the sense of ease and peace on your mat and know that you can create it any time, any day. It's there for you to access. Some believe it is only great power that can hold evil in check, but that is not what I have found. I have found that it is the small every deeds of the ordinary folk that keep the darkness at bay. Small acts of love and kindness. Gandalf.
loka samasta sukino babantu May all beings everywhere be happy and be free. Bring small movement in your hands, your toes, your ankles. You may choose to rest here in ease and peace in Shavasana for a more amount of time than we have together. But if you choose, come on to one side and come on to a comfortable seat, Sukhasana. Bring your hands to your heart space. Bow your head to your heart. Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Peace, peace, peace. May you be happy, may you be healthy, and may you live with a sense of ease and peace. Namaste. Thanks for your practice, everyone. I enjoyed our time together, even though I can't see you. It gives me much pleasure to provide this for you. Take out that loving kindness and send it out tenfold. I'll see you again here soon. Namaste.